today there's a couple things I want to get done. The first is, you might not be able to see it on the camera as well, but I ran out of refractory. I used the last tub I had and it's not quite even with this top lip. So I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit more and try to even that off because it's going to bother me and I want to make a really good level seal. Um, also I wanted to go over the dimensions of what I have real quick just for informational purposes. So I used a 10 inch form for the inside but um, the average is actually 10 and a quarter all the way around. In depth we're at about 15 and 3 eighths. And, um, the outer wall is about 3 inches. We have three and a quarter there. Oops, actually kind of, I didn't have my form center it looks like when I put this in. So we got down to uh, two and three quarter in some spots. Oops, two and, yeah, it'll be more than enough though. So those are my dimensions on the inside. The height of the unit. Um, I have about 17 and 3 eighths out here, and then the full standing height to the top of the lid is oops, about 25 and 3 quarter. So it's pretty big, it's kind of heavy. Um, I think I got about 100 pounds or more of um, refractory cement in there, not counting all the steel, so it's a lot heavier than anticipated. This wheels system that I uh, kind of jerry-rigged on here. I don't know if it's going to be adequate because trying to lift this thing is not the easiest of tasks and I don't want this to crack for me accidentally banging it too hard so I might have to change the wheel system out but for now it's going to have to work. So and the lid's not even on there. The lid is actually in the curing process. That's a good 15, 20 pounds by itself. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some refractory mix um, mixed <laughs> and uh, get that leveled off. And I don't know if I had explained it very well. I'm not a great presenter or anything. I get too excited with my builds, but um, this is the ins wool, I N S wool that I got. Um, it's rated for 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a ceramic uh, woven fiber and I bought the stuff that's one inch thick. So this is what's uh, used to line the inside of the lining um, of the body and the lid. And then for the refractory I'm using the Rutland castable refractory. Um, this stuff says it withstands up to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm going to probably be doing some bronze brass, so that should work just fine for what I'm doing. It's 12.5 pounds of pail. Um, I ended up using, I think I came up with seven for the body. So if you can buy this in bulk in bags, um, it doesn't have to be this brand, just something that's designed for uh, as a refractory. Um, you could probably get it a lot cheaper. I think I wasted a lot of money doing it this way. So, all right, here is all that material casted in. Got it nice and level. Well, at least level with the brim. So all the way around. I'm going to let that set up for I don't know 10, 15 minutes. Then I'm going to remove this inner tube and then shape the inside because I want it to look nice and smooth when I'm done. Uh, I'm getting kind of perfectionist with it, but hey, why not? Got the top all uh, shaped. I was kind of getting a little carried away with it, but I wanted to try to fill in as much of the voids that got created as possible. The worst ones were actually on that side right there. But I just used some water, patted it in as I went, and it looks like it evened off pretty well. 
Um, I think I got a bit of a lip in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and try to shave that down a little bit more. And then uh, let it start curing up.